Major riots are taking place in Egypt in response to a judge acquitting seven police officers and upholding death sentences against 21 civilians in the riots at a football match in Port Said last year. The headquarters of the country's football federation and a nearby police station was set alight by fans. It follows a court clearing seven police officers over their involvement in a stadium riot in Port Said. The unrest started when 74 people were killed in a riot between fans and players of opposing football teams in Port Said. Many protesters accused the police of negligence in refusing to break up the violence as it escalated. While many protesters vow to keep fighting, some argue that it's time to accept the court's verdict and move on for the sake of the community. We're not happy with this verdict. The officers should have been sentenced to at least 25 years in prison. I already lost one child. I can't bear the thought of losing more to these clashes. NBC reports the violence is a sign of a larger problem, a country out of control. With citizens no longer fearing authority and police unable to maintain order, a military coup would be a viable option. While the desire for military intervention isn't universal, the New York Times reports many Egyptians believe military force may be the only solution to the chaos in post-Mubarak Egypt. In addition to the seven police officers acquitted in the crimes, two senior-level police officers were found guilty and sentenced to 15 years in prison for their roles in failing to stop the violence. For Newsy, I'm Candace Aviles, Multiple Sources, A Broader View.